Coronation Street has had numerous serial killers walk the infamous cobbles over the years and it seems another one could be added to the list as Lydia Chambers could have a deadly plan in mind for Daniel Osborne. Lydia, played by Rebecca Ryan, has left viewers scratching their heads over her motives for arriving on Coronation Street as her connection to Adam Barlow, Sam Robertson, remains somewhat of a mystery. The newcomer has quickly become drawn to Daniel, Rob Mallard, but the pair hit a hurdle during Monday night's double bill of the ITV soap. As she discovered what trouble he got himself involved in last year, it seemed she was ready to call things quits. However, she chose to take him back but does she have a plan in mind to get rid of him once and for all? The first episode of the night began with Lydia congratulating Amy Barlow, Elle Mulvaney, on the progress she had made over the upskirting scandal. Though, she was left confused when a youngster mentioned Daniel had got himself in trouble with Summer Spellman, Harriet Bibby, just before Christmas. As she confronted him about the scandal in the cafe, the air turned cold as the school teacher was reluctant to delve into his past. With Daniel deflecting the topic of conversation and stating nothing had happened, the newcomer replied, Are you serious? I don't know what you're talking about. He responded to which Lydia said, Amy was just talking about you getting suspended for sending love poems. It was nothing, nothing, Daniel remarked, adding it was just a storm in a teacup and was nothing of any concern. As Lydia was not going to give up, the school teacher gave her the bare minimum and he replied, It was just a misunderstanding I handled badly. The newcomer pushed for a bit more detail and eventually, the school teacher broke and told the whole story about how he was accused of having inappropriate relations with Summer. He assured his girlfriend there was no relationship between him and the schoolgirl but Lydia said, I don't know what to really think about all this. I've got lots of stuff to do so I'm going to get going, she remarked before getting up and leaving the cafe as Daniel tried to defend himself. In the second episode of the evening, she sat down with her friend Sarah Platt, Tina O'Brien, in the Rovers' return and she learnt more about Daniel's past. Lydia said she thought she needed to dump her boyfriend but Sarah explained he was cleared of all charges and admittedly said the situation could have been handled better. He's had a bit of a car crash of a love life and he had a bit of a messed up childhood, the mother of three added. The newcomer commented it sounded like her partner was very messed up but she was immediately shut down as Daisy Midgley, Charlotte Jordan, also jumped to his defense. She explained how she thought Daniel was one of the good guys and was the best man Lydia was ever going to find. With this in mind, the newcomer returned to speak with Daniel at his flat, after making an extremely quick turnaround. You are a very lucky man. She remarked as she came flouncing through the door and she explained, two different women stuck up for you this afternoon. Both of them went out of their way to assure me that you are a good man, she added, almost as if she had been talked out of killing him. Continuing her speech about giving him a second chance, possibly in love and in life, she said, I learned a lot about you today. Most of it would put a sensible woman off, she stated with Daniel replying, I don't claim to be a saint. You wouldn't stand a chance, Lydia commented before adding, but now I know your whole story, I am inclined to agree. You are a good man, she continued, accepting Daniel's offer to stay for a cup of tea afterwards as it seemed they were going to get things back on track. However, all these hints seem to suggest she does have a very deadly side to her personality and Daniel should be wary. It could be she was forgiven him with a click of her fingers because she is secretly going to play the long game. Staying close to him, she can keep a careful eye as to whether he messes up again and if he does, she could take action. Believing the world would be a much better place without a man like Daniel in it, she could kill him and make it look like an innocent accident. It would seem she has done this before but this would be the first victim she has claimed whilst living on the cobbles. With a young son depending on her, Lydia would need to maintain her freedom and push the blame onto someone else if needed. She could frame Daisy for the murder, making it look as if she was a jealous ex-girlfriend who wanted to keep Daniel all to herself. But as her deadly games get even more dangerous, will she take more lives of those living in Weatherfield?
Thank you.